As you heard at the top of the hour, COVID-19 is surging again in this country and hospitals are getting packed. And now we're learning the most common ways that are being used to screen for the virus may not be effective. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez explains a troubling new study. Because we do not yet have rapid, abundant COVID testing, one strategy to allow the economy to reopen has been to take people's temperature and ask them a few simple questions about symptoms and travel. Turns out that approach isn't very effective at catching asymptomatic COVID spreaders. The discouraging news comes from a just published study in the New England Journal of Medicine. Researchers from the Navy and the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai tested, followed, and quarantined under close supervision nearly 2,000 new Marine Corps recruits before and at the start of basic training. Few infected recruits had COVID symptoms before a nasal swab test diagnosed them with coronavirus, despite daily temperature and symptom screening. Relying on symptom screening and temperature checks alone, it's not very effective finding infected individuals. All of the infected individuals were found by scheduled tests that were done independent of the presence of symptoms or elevated temperature. This while COVID cases and hospitalizations are skyrocketing across the country. However, the death rate in the tri-state area is surprisingly low compared to our first massive outbreak in the spring. Experts attribute that partly to experience leading to better medical care and medications. Also, older, more vulnerable people are taking greater precautions, so infected populations are trending younger. The bad news is that death rates generally lag two to three weeks behind hospitalizations, so we may yet see mortality numbers rise. Dr. Silfon says our best defense right now is masks, social distancing, and massively increased testing. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.